the famous desktop background behind the monitor trick. Image on the monitor is actually a photograph that I took of what's behind the monitor. So, uh, you know, if I put my hand back here, you're not going to see the, uh, the hand behind the monitor, but you do see kind of the top of the, the two speakers, and you see the little pull cords from the, uh, from the back side, from what's behind the monitor, um, and you see what's outside. To show you how this works, I'm going to use my test computer here, which is codenamed Valentine. This is my Windows Vista test system, and it doesn't really have a lot of interesting things behind it, not like the other computer, but it does have something other than a blank wall. Obviously, if you're going to try this trick with a blank wall, it makes no point. And right now, on my desktop, I have a painting, a very famous painting, and I'm going to replace it with an image on the, uh, the desktop of the wall behind the monitor. The first step before you go ahead and, uh, and take a picture is to move things out of the way. So I'll move the mouse, and I'm going to move the keyboard. And then I'm going to slide the monitor, taking note of where it is, and I'm going to slide it off outside of the way. And the first thing I notice is that it's very filthy behind the monitor. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take a picture uh, behind the monitor. Yes, the lens cap first. The lens cap must come on. And power on the camera. And get ready to take that. Turn the camera off. And find a memory stick for your camera. I'm going to frame it in. Just right where I want it. Just a little bit larger than what I want it. And take that picture. After inserting the card into the computer, you're going to see an autoplay dialog box. You may not, but you probably will. First thing you want to do is copy that image to your computer. The one that I like to choose is open folder to view files. Next thing you're going to do is to open the DCIM folder, digital camera, digital camera image folder. Then uh, open the folder containing the image. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that image and press control C on the keyboard to copy the image. Then I'm going to go to my home folder on the computer and open the pictures folder. That would be called My Pictures if you're using Windows XP. And then I'm going to press Control V to paste in that image. The image is copied and the image is pasted in. Now I want to edit the image. So editing the image involves opening it in some kind of image editor. I just happen to have here in Windows the Windows Photo Gallery, which I'm going to use. Now the first thing I notice is that the colors are a little bit off. I'd like to fix the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose the uh, Fix option, Fix button up here, and I'm going to choose Adjust Color. Um, color temperature, because the lights in here are incandescent, color's a little orange. Now the next step after adjusting, after adjusting the colors is to uh, crop the image. You want to choose Crop, Crop Picture, and then you want to adjust these little handles here, up and down and in and out, to kind of figure out approximately which part of the image the monitor covers. Now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and quit this. It's automatically going to save it for me. Now, to, make that, to set that as the background, there's really no shortcut. Oh, there it is. Set as background. So, welcome to Windows Vista. With the image set as the background, does it look okay? Yeah, a little bit. Desktop picture has been done. Now you can do it too. Thank you for joining me today. It was fun having fun.